Welcome back to CJ Nature. In today's video, we'll be looking at plants, rocks, and fungi in three different places, but only one in my garden. First is going to be my garden. Here we have the palm tree. It can live to a century, and some evidence says that they are actually the oldest living trees because their cells are not replaced with new cells. Palm trees can grow delicious foods such as coconuts and dates, but don't trust all fruit which grows on a palm tree. Some could be poisonous like a sago. Now we are at Park Kefinon in Cardiff. Here we have a fungi. A fungi is neither plant nor animal and belongs to its own fungi kingdom. But they are related to us more than plants. They breathe in oxygen and give out CO2. Some can even glow in the dark, but I can't find any which glows in the dark. So here's a picture of one. And a not so fun fact about fungi. Our feet contain more than 200 types of fungi. Even if you shower twice a day, your feet are still going to have fungi on them. They live between your toes and beneath toenails. Some fungi can even infect ants and turn them into zombies, controlling their minds. Did you know the popular video game The Last of Us is based off of this fungi? where it affects humans, but don't worry, that doesn't happen in real life. Here we have the Sitka spruce trees. They are one of the tallest tree species. Right up there with the redwood trees. Sometimes they get to be very old and outrageously tall. Back in the pirate days, most ships and wooden planks would be made from wood from this tree. We have some pine cones. They are for protecting a pine seed. So it's basically armour for seeds. And the green pine cone is a new pine cone recently fell. Here we have the hydrangea. Actually poisonous if you eat their leaves so I don't recommend it. And they are native to Japan. Here we have the holly. American and English holly look very similar, but the English holly is more commonly used in Christmas decorations. Oh, 
Hollies have white flowers with four petals that bloom any time between early spring and start of summer, dependent on the climate. And their berries are toxic to humans. Here we have the cuckoo pine. It can be used as medicine to cure sore throats and many other medical things. Here we have the monkey puzzle tree. It's a funny name. But they were around when the dinosaurs still roamed the earth. They have spikes all over. It kind of reminds me of a cactus or a pine cone. Here we have another hydrangea. This one's a hairy hydrangea. Here we have the Australian tree fern. These trees are actually older than the dinosaurs. It's also very odd looking. It looks like a bush on top of another bush. So we have the male fern. I just told you about ferns. Here's another stuff that's spruce. I already told you about this one earlier. Here is the roots of this tree. This tree has been cut down, but do you see the lines in it? The lines tell you how old a tree is. One line equals one year. Now we are at the nap. Here we have the corn poppy. These poppies grew all over the battlefield of the world wars, so they used to remember the soldiers. We have all different types of flowers, like sunflowers and poppies. Here we have the Atlas Cedar. The Atlas Cedar produces natural oil. These are large trees with a fairly straight trunk and they have simple needle-like leaves.
Here we have some limestone. It's a very common rock. It's found everywhere. Limestone can even be filled with all different things like jasper or flint. Here we have the sunflower. Not all sunflowers have the yellow petals on them. And the tallest sunflower I ever saw was a towering 30 feet. Here we have the spiked water milfoil. It's an aquatic plant. It can grow anywhere in the water and can be found in water depths up to 10 feet. Here we have some more limestone. I already told you about this one. Here we have some sandstone. It's made up of different sand and it can form in all different shapes. Here we have a blackberry bush. It grows blackberries. And blackberries actually contain copper in them. Here we have the wild carrot. And no, it's not a carrot as in vegetable. It's a herb. These ones have already bloomed, but before they bloomed, they would have been ready. Here we have the brown knapweed. It's native to Europe, but it's rarely seen. Thank you for watching CJ Nature. This week I'm going to Rome, so next video will be on Rome. The first CJ travel video. See you next Monday.